So, uh, Joe Pfeiffer versus Jack Hermanson just went down uh, for the UFC Fight Night main event uh, today. And we got a fraud check. We got one, the mother of all fucking fraud checks. Uh, Jack Hermanson beats uh, Joe Pfeiffer by 48-47. But you got to think about this in certain ways. Did Jack Manson outstrike him on the feet? I'm sure as fuck did. Uh, did Joe Pfeiffer lose three rounds to two? He sure as shit did. But we got to factor in some other things. This is the middleweight division. Losing to Jack Manson doesn't mean you're done for. He could, he could definitely turn back. You never know. Joe Pfeiffer could make a comeback. He's very, very young. I think he's. 26 years old, I want to say. He's pretty... He's fucking stupidly young for this weight class. I think he's going to be fine. You know, I think he'll be back. You know, the thing is... It's just been the leg kicks. Even against Abdul Razak al Hassan. You know, he had some problems with the leg kicks. He just needs to work on checking his kicks. And then I think he can beat a lot of people in that weight class. Now, Jack Manson beat the fucking shit out of him for those last three rounds. He rocked him, kneed him in the head, uh, beat the shit out of him, kicked out his leg, took him down, beat him up on the ground in the fifth round. He just really turned that fight around. Because early, Joe Pfeiffer was really landing some good shots on him. He clearly won the first two rounds. Yeah, those first two rounds were clear as day for Joe Pfeiffer. But I do think he can come back from this. Do you want to know why I think this? Well, firstly, because middleweight's fucking shit. Secondly, Joe Pfeiffer is very young. In this fight, the only thing that really got exposed was that he's, he can't check leg kicks to save his fucking life. But when you look at it, Brendan Allen got chinned by Chris Curtis, and now he's on like what five fight win streak. Uh, beat you know Paul Craig, beat Bruno Silva, beat a bunch of people. Like, look at it this way. Fucking. Like, Brendan Allen got shooted by Chris Curtis. And who did Chris Curtis lose to? He lost to Jack Manson. Jack Manson's very good. He's a tricky fighter. So, people using that he's lost to Jack Manson to say he never be anything is crazy. He's super young. Middleweight sucks. Every middleweight needs to have their weird loss in the UFC. And this is Jack. Uh, this is Joe Parker's weird win. You know, Jack Manson's not bad. He was beating up Rowan Delitzi before he decided to shoot in for a takedown and fuck himself over. He would have won that fight. Nine times out of ten, Jack Manson beats Rowan Delitzi. So, I don't think this means that Joe Pfeiffer can't be do, can't be anything, but he really needs to address the leg kick, his leg kick defense. Because this is two fights in a row where his legs have just been fucking destroyed. And in this fight, he wasn't fighting Abdul Razak Al Hassan, so he couldn't come back from it. But it was still, it was a very good fight. Well, it was an alright fight. You know, not very good, but good performance by Jack Manson. Looking, watching this fight, I'm going to have a bit of a hot take. And I know people are going to just assume I'm a hater. But I think Jack Manson, stylistically, he could pull off the Sean Strickland game plan against Israel Asani, right? Like, I, I'm not crazy in thinking that, right? Like, just watching this fight, striking's gotten so much better lately. And, you know, besides him getting beat by Roman Delizzi where he shot a takedown, who did he lose before that too? He lost to Sean Strickland. You know, he did a better against Sean Strickland than Israel Asani. I think stylistically, and I thought this for a bit, but I don't think Jack Manson like, generally beat Israel Asani. I know this is just a weird thing. Like, uh, the whole time I'm watching him, I'm thinking, you know, he could probably pull it off against Izzy. You know, he's... You know, he's not going to destroy too much to his leg kicks. He's got strong legs. You know, he can kick. He can kick with Izzy. Uh, and he would have takedowns as well. Like, I generally think he could... Stylistically, I think he could actually be a tough matchup for Izzy. And people thought people would sound retarded or whatever. I also thought uh, Marvin Vittori... Uh, Jared Kennedy was an interesting stylistic matchup for Marvin Vittori as well. And people were saying I was stupid. So, I feel like I'm really good when it comes to these middleweight matchups, thinking about weird stylistic matchups. I just wanted to put that out there. Generally, Manson's got like a weird sneaking chance of being busy. Uh, but I don't think he's going to be champion or anything like that. But he did look really good. 35 years old, looked improved. So he's got a long reach as well, which would help him against Izzy. 77 and a half inch reach, which is really long. Izzy always suffers against those long reaches. So who knows? Maybe we see Jack Manson pull off the upset of the century against uh, Israel Azania in the future. But I just wanted to talk about that real quick.
just just a round of hop. But I was watching it in my head, I'm thinking, man, you could really give me some trouble. I know it's gonna it's gonna be a hot take, but people probably think I'm stupid. But just think about it for a second. Like he does everything that you know isn't good for Izzy, and he's got really good cardio, and he can just keep pressing forward, and he's got takedown from as well. He's probably one of the better grapplers on that weight class, so that's just something I've thought about. It's not like he's going to get tired or anything like that. But he was getting leg kicked by Pyfa, so maybe Izzy would have some more success with the leg kicks. But I don't think he would give him the space to, so I don't know. It'd be interesting. Uh, but still, getting back onto it, Jack Manson looked really good. He calls the Nazarene Marvov. I love that fight. I think that's a good fight to do. Maybe a main event uh, in Paris or something like that, or a feature fight, or a co-main, five-round co-main, or something like that, I don't know, something around them, I wouldn't mind seeing that fight, you know, they haven't fought each other before, they've got a few common opponents, so I feel like that'd be a good fight, I think, even though he lost to Roman Delizzi, I think Jack Manson's a much better fighter than Roman Delizzi, uh, I think that was proven in their fight, before he shot, before he got, before he shot that takedown, he was tooling up Roman Delizzi on the feet, he just made a, he makes some bad fighter IQ errors at times, but I think Kamaz is like solid. And I've always, I've always thought he was a very solid fighter. So I'm interested to see what he does next. Who knows? Maybe this is his time to rise up the top. He just beat Pfeiffer. Maybe they rebook him versus Brendan Allen in the future. Uh, if he beats Vittoria or loses to Vittoria or something like that. And who knows? Maybe maybe Hermanson beats Brendan Allen. And he just goes on a run of dethroning uh, all these prospects. I have a feeling they're going to do him versus Ikram or Liskarov. Or something like that. Maybe they don't do that since he's coming off a win and it wouldn't make any sense since he just beat an unranked opponent. But I'm interested to see where Jack Manson goes next. Uh, he generally did look really improved. His striking's come a long way. I remember a time when this guy could not stand on the feet. He had to always get to the ground. But now he's actually comfortable. He's actually in there striking with Joe Pfeiffer. Like, Joe Pfeiffer's very big. He's a very big, powerful guy. He punches as hard as Nugano, apparently. And... You know, he couldn't get anything off of Jack Manson, so that was really interesting to see. Like, Jack Manson took some big shots. Got dropped by Marvin Vittori, but he can take all the shots in the world from, uh, you know, from fucking Joe Pfeiffer, so that's interesting. But yeah, like I say, both of these guys, I think they'll be back. Joe Pfeiffer, I didn't like this matchup being made anyway. I didn't think he should have got a ranked opponent after beating fucking Amadovsky, the worst fighter in the UFC. You know, a literal fucking can crusher who lost to every single person he fought in the UFC. Beat GM3 the GOAT, that's a good win. And then he beats Abdul uh, uh, Abdul Razak Al Hassan, who's, you know, hit and miss at middleweight. Like, seriously, that's all he had to do to get a ranked opponent? That was so stupid. Stupid matchmaking, in my opinion. But, you know, I, I think give him some more unranked opponents. You know, I think there's some guys he can beat, and he's young. I think he can make his way back up, and he needs to address the checking. Uh, maybe work on his cardio a bit. I don't think he was, like, super gassed or anything like that, but he needs to pace himself a bit more. But you also got to think, if this was a three-rounder, he would have won 29-28. So, you know, he's still a good fighter, but I feel like he obviously three rounds are probably better for him at this point. But work on the cardio, work on checking the kicks, and I think we'll see him probably back up in the ranked fights. I think this is just a early, like... This is an early setback, but I do think Joe Pyfe will probably come back. I do think skill-wise he is very good, but obviously his holes in this game of, you know, leg kicks is really hard in the middleweight division when everybody's fucking throwing pretty hard leg kicks. But, you know, overall, uh, Jack Manson gets it done. You know, I think Joe Pyfe will be back, and I think Manson can actually, you know, I think he matches up well with a lot of these guys at the moment. You know, I think he could beat Brendan Allen on the feet. I think he could beat... That's the thing I'm on with in a five-rounder. Like, I do think he, he has some good stylistic matchups for himself. And if he plays his cards right, you know, he could probably maybe get to a title shot. Maybe. I'm not saying he definitely would. But, you know, he's he's got himself in a good position at the moment. You know, he, he did better against, like I say, he did better against Strickland than Izzy did. I know Styles make fights, but I think he could match up well with, like, Izzy's. Not Rob. I think Rob's a nightmare matchup. Drake, Drake is, is also a pretty bad matchup for him. But... It looked really good. So that's all I've got to say on that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video. Uh, give me your thoughts on Jack Manson's performance. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.